Hi there, welcome back. Huge breaking news. Ben Ransom was speaking to Pep Guardiola earlier on this morning about Erling Haaland. Ben, he said he couldn't talk about it until the deal was done. He can talk about it now then, Ben. Yeah, shall I go and try and find him, Vicky? Absolutely <laughs> right. That's the breaking news here from Manchester City, is that Manchester City have confirmed they've reached an agreement in principle for the signing of Erling Haaland. Now, that They've put a statement out uh, on the club's website. It's very brief, I have to say. Uh, they confirm they've reached that agreement in principle. The transfer will go through on, officially on the 1st of July 2022. They do just say that the transfer does remain subject to the club finalising terms with the player. Well, that is extremely close and essentially this deal has been done because we know that Haaland went to Belgium yesterday, had his medical at the Erasmus Hospital in Brussels. We know that the fee's been agreed. Uh, some update on the figures as well. Now, we've been talking, haven't we, and speculating about how much Haaland was going to cost. There was this very public figure of 75 million euro for his release clause. Well, it's been suggested to me that's actually lower than that, that the release clause officially was 60 million euro. So that's at 51.1 million pounds that City have paid uh, for Erling Haaland. And in total, including agents fees and the signing on fee, the total the City have paid is 100 million euro. That's what I've been told. So that would work out as 85.5 million pounds. And when you consider that this is a player that on the open market, if he didn't have that release clause, would be going for upwards of 100, certainly maybe even 150, maybe even 200 million pounds. That could potentially represent a remarkable piece of business for Manchester City. There's been huge excitement as this transfer's edged ever closer. We saw Pep Guardiola, to be fair to him, he did at least respond to my questions, but the fact he opened up even that tiny amount suggested that he knew this deal was done. And it is a fantastic story for Erling Haaland. I'm sure everyone has seen the photos of him as a, as a kid in the Manchester City shirt when his dad, Alfie Inge Haaland, who played here at the club between 2000 and 2003, he's obviously grown up with a real affection for this club. And to come back next season, to be their number nine, to end the search for Sergio Aguero's successor in the week of the 10th anniversary of that Aguero goal, the one that won Manchester City, hit their first Premier League title back in 2012, is some remarkable story. 